Hello everyone and welcome to this Kiowa session. We are a proud sponsor of this immunity broadcast series organized by Nutra Ingredients. My name is Aksana Ricci, I'm the head of marketing at Kiowa Hako Europe. Thank you for spending time with us. Today we will be talking about our newest ingredient Immuse, an innovative approach to immunity. Before we begin, I'd like to say a few words about who we are. Kiowa Hako Europe is a part of Kiowa Hako Bio, a world-leading manufacturer of health ingredients in the nutraceutical and pharmaceutical fields. The company is based in Japan and we are wholly owned by Kirin, the largest beverage and beer manufacturer in Asia. You might have heard of Kirin beer, perhaps. Anyway, we're a part of a very large global company. We offer a variety of well-researched branded health ingredients for different areas, such as brain health, immune health, eye health, antioxidants, and sports nutrition. The topic of our talk today will be Immuse. Before we begin, let's have a brief overview of the immune supplement market and consumer insights. This data is provided by FMCG Guru. According to their 2021 survey across Europe, slightly less than 50% of consumers say that they are satisfied with their immune health. It is important to note that the low figure is not only down to COVID, but partially it is a reflection of how consumers recognize that the poor dietary habits and traits, such as lack of physical activity and spending too much time indoors or on digital devices, is having an impact on long-term health. As a result of this, 7 in 10 consumers say that they are looking to boost their immune health over the next 12 months. This reflects how personal health goals continue to shift and focus on reducing vulnerability to disease and illness. Four in 10 people said they would use functional food and beverage intake to support their immunity. More than 50% increased their intake of probiotic products. Research also showed that consumers associate a variety of ingredients with aiding the immune system. There have been virtually no difference in the proportion of people who associate protein, vitamin C, iron, and probiotics with supporting immune health. 79% of people link probiotic to immune health, and this reflects how many consumers across the globe understand that the digestive and the immune system are directly interlinked. 2020 saw a big increase in immunity market sales. Despite that growth has now slowed down, it is expected that the entire market size will continue to grow. The main growth is driven by traditional and botanical ingredients. However, there is a rising interest in the new immune ingredients, particularly postbiotics. If we look at the immune market, it can be divided into three categories, vitamins and botanicals, pre and probiotics, and now there is a new area of growth called postbiotics. Vitamins and botanicals are essential to keep our immune cells healthy. Pre and probiotics are important for gut health, which is linked to immunity, but most conventional probiotics only offer partial immune support by activating certain immune cells. Probiotics, however, are specifically targeting anti-inflammatory and antiviral responses by activating a larger number of immune cells which trigger adaptive and innate immune system responses. This offers a more targeted and comprehensive immune support. So what are postbiotics? Until May, there were a lot of different terms used to describe postbiotics. They were called ghostbiotics, paraprobiotics, etc. In May this year, International Scientific Associations of Probiotics and Prebiotics set a definition and scope for postbiotics. So postbiotics is a preparation of inanimate microorganisms and or their components that confer a health benefit to the host. Postbiotics are inanimate, non-living organisms which have been deliberately inactivated, usually by heat or pressure. However, they still provide health benefits. We all know that gut health and immunity are strongly connected. We also know that around 70 to 80% of our immune cells reside in our intestines. 
The small intestine actually has the most immune cells and not so much of microbiome. Microbiome lives a lot more in the large intestine. Probiotics take action in the large intestine, targeting microbiome, and the postbiotic site of action is in the small intestine, where they modulate immune cells. So what are the benefits of postbiotics? Postbiotics overlap with probiotics in several health benefits and specifically immune function. Being non-viable microorganisms, they also add additional benefits for consumers and also for formulating companies. Postbiotics are safer than living organisms. The dosage is more precise. You do not need to worry about viability of living microorganisms. They are stable towards high temperature and have longer shelf life. They are easy to formulate with, and because of this, they are more applicable towards a variety of products. Let's talk about the Muse, our unique and innovative immune support ingredient. The actual ingredient name is Lactococcus lactistrain plasma. Immuse is our branded name of this ingredient. It is heat-treated bacterial strain, classified as postbiotic. It has been marketed in Japan since 2012 and launched in Europe and USA in 2020. It comes as light brown powder, neutral in taste. It is stable at room temperature. The dosage is very small, only 50 mg per day for adults, which is equivalent to 100 billion cells and 25 mg per day for children. It also has got three year shelf life as an ingredient. One of the most interesting and unique things about Immuse is its mechanism of action. Let's dive deeper into that. The immune system is a complex system. There are many cells involved. This diagram shows how many different cells play its role in immune response. And to have a good and successful immune response, it is really important that these cells work together and efficiently against viruses and other invaders. To do this, it is important that there is a leader that orchestrates the immune response. What we found through years of research and what is also confirmed in the scientific papers is that there is a leader in the immune system and it is called plasmacytoid dendritic cells or PDC cells. These cells detect and respond to invaders and specifically viruses. They present antigen to immune cells. They secrete INF alpha, which is an important signal molecule to activate other immune cells. The reason we call it a leader is that it is able to activate almost all these immune cells to be ready to work and fight together. Traditional Lactococcus lactis bacteria is known to activate only NK cells, thus providing only a partial immune support. Here in the researchers set the target to find a novel new ingredient that can activate the PDC cells which in turn would activate the right type of immune cells to respond to an invader. This mechanism of action offers a more comprehensive smart immune support. Kirin did extensive research and they tested more than 100 bacterial strains of the most commercially available Lactococcus lactis bacteria and measured their PDC activation by measuring INF alpha secretion. The diagram on the right shows that only Immuse was able to significantly activate PDC cells compared to some of the most common conventional lactic acid bacteria. Let's go deeper into suggested mechanism of action. This diagram shows how we believe Immuse activates the immune system and specifically PDC cells through M cells. M cells are the cells that line the mucosa of the small intestine. Orally administered immuse is transported by M cells into small intestine called pious patch, where the majority of PDC cells reside. You can see that image in the middle. Within the PDCs, there is a receptor that is pretty well known in scientific literature and it's called TLR9. Once immuse has been digested, DNA in the muse has been detected by TLR9 receptor, 
which in turn activates the PDC cells. It is believed that the muse contain that specific bacterial DNA that activate this receptor and successfully activate the PDC cells. On the graph, you can see the example of inactivated and activated PDC cell. Here is another view under the microscope. The image on the right shows controlled lactic acid bacteria in green and PDC cells in red. You can see that the controlled lactic acid bacteria is not penetrating PDCs and is sitting on the exterior of the cell, not activating them. Whereas on the left, Immuse is in green and it is inside the PDC cells. PDC cells absorb immuse and once inside, immuse activates them. Immuse has strong scientific evidence. It is a very well-researched ingredient. This shows an overview of the scientific literature. There are 29 papers published in total, including 14 human clinical trials. Out of 14 human clinical studies published on immuse, there are two safety studies and 12 efficacy studies on immune health. Two of them are looking into immune health in specific situation, in sport and office working environment. All human clinical trials are randomized, double-blinded, placebo-controlled studies. We are not going into details of each efficacy study today, as we do not have time, but the majority of these studies are in the public domain, and if you are interested, please reach out to us and we will be able to provide you more information on these studies. These are the safety studies to prove the safety of the ingredient, taking for a long time and taking in excess of the recommended dosage. All studies show no abnormal change in the long-term or excessive intake. As I said, Immuse is a very well-researched and safe immune ingredient. These are our structure functional claims for Immuse. These claims we evaluated and reviewed with a group of scientific consultants and regulatory attorneys. These claims are suggestive. Mostly, they are used in the U.S. market, as in Europe, the regulation on health claim is totally different. A few words on the regulatory status of immuse in Europe. Lactococcus lactis strain plasma is acceptable for use in food, beverage, and food supplements in Europe. Lactococcus lactis species have been granted qualified presumption of safety by EFSA and it has been widely used in fermented foods and food supplement without a contest of authorities. There has been no health claim authorized in Europe on any of the Lactococcus lactis species. So, in summary, Immuse is our branded name of Lactococcus lactis strain plasma. It enhances both the innate and adaptive immune system. It's supported by 29 publications. It offers unique and innovative approach to immunity. It is a postbiotic, so it is safe and easy to handle, and it's applicable to a variety of products. Immuse can be used as a food supplement and ingredient for food and beverage. It has a very small dosage, only 50 mg. It has got a qualified presumption of safety by EFSA, it also has got a self-affirmed grass status in the U.S., has a proprietary cultivation process. The ingredient is allergen-free, non-GMO, vegetarian, and also has no food additives, artificial flavors, or preservatives. If you are interested to know more about our products or specifically Immuse, please do get in touch with us. Thank you for your attention. I hope you found this interesting and we look forward to working with you in the future.